Okay, well, hello everyone and good afternoon and thank you for joining me. My name is Elizabeth Carter and I'm the email marketing manager at Charity Digital and I've been working in the charity sector for over 20 years. So today's session is very informal. Please feel free to keep your camera on. Um, I'll walk through my presentation or have a Q&A at the end and because I'm using Canva today, it's sort of gone full screen. So I've asked James if uh, we do have questions, he'll read them out because I'm unable to see them in my Zoom. And uh, so, but please feel free to sort of raise your hand, um, join the presentation, ask any questions as well, or if you just want to mute yourself. And also share any experiences that you may have with us all, as it does help us to learn from each other. We are recording this session. This is uh, our second in the focus group um, session. So we're on a learning curve at the moment. And uh, we've got closed captions available as well. And the recording uh, will go out with the slides and it will be sent to you in a few days time via email. And if we do have any visual or sound issues, then James is gonna be there. He's my right hand man and he'll sort them out. So um, as, as I said, this is sort of, um, a sort of a trial with our focus group here. Um, we wanted to dedicate um, sort of sessions to um, different sectors in particular, and we'll be sending out a feedback form immediately after the session. And it'd be really helpful for us, and we really appreciate it if you could give us your feedback so we know how to tailor these and how to improve them um, for our future ones with you. So Let's have a look at the topics and um, the content I'm going to cover is basically summarised as challenges facing NHS and hospices, what can help and examples and what the dot digital platform offers. So <clears throat> in the way that I'm going to approach this is I'm sort of going to talk about the challenges facing hospitals by covering accessibility and ease of technology, privacy and security concerns, complex healthcare landscape trust and credibility and social media and measuring your return on investment and connecting up to other platforms. So let's crack on. And let's go to accessibility, first of all, and ease of using technology. So according to Scope, 78% of disabled people say that having access to digital technologies is helpful or very helpful, whereas poor design and difficult content um, that does not respond to people's real service needs can negatively, negatively affect um, people's experiences. And according to the WHO, I didn't actually know this, but 2.2 billion people are visually impaired worldwide. So effective and accessible email campaigns are really needed to support and enable people who face physical communication and cognitive barriers. Um, let's just have a look at this slide and let's just take into consideration those with visual impairments. And with Dot Digital, you can easily make sure that your campaigns look good. The editor is really user friendly. And here are a couple of examples on the right hand side of campaigns that are using Dot Digital. And just to point out a few things um, the font, always keep it at least 14, buttons of a good size. The color context is really important. and and the, your calls to action there. Um, <clears throat> now let's just, just have a look at the color because I quite actually like these two here because color contract, con, uh, contrast is important to bear in mind as you may have subscribers with color blindness. So contrasting shades are more effective um, than just a plain light color email, especially for color blind people. And just a piece of advice here that many people do actually use uh, Microsoft um, Flex Kinaid, which is a reason um, <clears throat> test, um, ease test to check um, the email um, readability and also uh, Color Oracle for is a great way to, to see how the users with the color blindness perceive your email. So again, in these examples, you can see that the text has got to be split out into paragraphs for easy accessibility, especially with those with uh, screen readers. And the layer of the email must be open with adequate white, white space for your font type. And obviously your calls to action have to be very prominent and you need to be adding your alt text with images for those visually impaired subscribers and <clears throat> You always have to check 
the um, testing accessibility of the email on various devices as well. So emails, especially for hospitals and hospices, have to be in simple language with a clarity and focus. Um, obviously, that resonates with your audience. So many people actually do move over from other platforms, um, especially thinking about the MailChimp of this world, to dot digital because they say that they prefer the editor as it isn't as clunky, but it's more intuitive. And here you can see um, this is inside of the editor. It's an easy editor design and everything is drag and drop. And uh, you've got your email campaign, which is made up of building blocks and each block um, is a content element. And so you can drag over text, images, buttons, videos, social icons, dynamic content, which I'll mention in a minute, and lots of other things as well. So you can see that you've got two tabs. You've got the building and you've got the style on the left-hand side there, and you've got more functions up at the top. Now on this screen, we're now inside of the styles tab which allows you to edit your background and your color themes, your borders, your padding, and your display options. So um, just to throw out there, according to HubSpot, 46% of email opens occurred on mobile now. So Dot Digital gives you um, an excellent tool to adapt your responsive design. So your emails display well on all smart devices. And as you can see down uh, sort of on the left-hand side, it's highlighted in blue. Um, you can hide elements, preserve image sizes, and plus you can stack or unstack your content. Now, on the right-hand side, thinking about your screen readers, it's really easy to add a link to, sorry, a title to a link, and also to an image, because obviously these will be um, read out. So let's move over now and to our plain text. Plain text is really easy to manage and it's just created by a click of a button and then you can tweak it as much as you wish and you can send both HTML and plain um, text versions as well. So that's just a little bit of dive into the easy editor and looking at your campaigns. So let's now move over to another challenge, which is security and spam concerns. Now, one of the primary challenges hospitals and hospices face in digital mar marketing is ensuring the privacy and security of patient data. And uh, as you all know, you must adhere to strict regulations to protect sensitive information and you need robo robust um, security measures. So a question that I'm always asked is, especially for the health organizations, is where is the data stored? So in Dot .digital, um, I've just got down here, you can see that it's an EU region that utilizes the Microsoft Azure um, North and West, and it's Europe facilities. So if you are sending out in the UK, then your data is stored in the UK. And another question also um, in the middle now, we're moving towards and on the right hand side is how many users can I have in the Dot .digital platform? And can I set the permissions? And the answer is there is an unlimited amount of users and you can set the permissions so you can allow to access all areas and you can restrict any as you wish. And you can also set up a two factor authentication, which is an extra layer of security. And that's used um, to make sure that people, when they're trying to access the account, they, they are who they say they are. And it works by sending a verification SMS message um, to on a login on the mobile number. Obviously, that mobile number is stored within the dot digital account. So a, another challenge is spam. And um, I get this all the time, um, especially with NHSs, and it seems to be with hospitals and with schools um, and with hospices. So <clears throat> Dot digital provides you with the ability to see the reason for the soft bounce, which really helps. And I know that on other platforms it doesn't do that, but you can see it within the reporting section and it's got a spam checker available as well. And emails from the NHS or hospices and any other organization, in fact, um, can get caught up in spam for many reasons. 
And on the right hand side, we've got email content. So emails from hospitals or hospices may contain healthcare related terminology or keywords that are commonly associated with spam, especially if you're including medical advice or information about medications or treatments. And the send reputation. So if the email server sending the messages has a poor reputation or it's been flagged up for sending spam in the past, emails from that server are more likely to be marked as spam. I've put down authentication because that's really important to look for when you use a platform. And the lack of proper authentication, such as your sender policy framework or your domain key, keys identity mail, can lead to emails being flagged as suspicious or as spam. Now, you may or may not be sending out a large amount of emails, um, but if you are sending out a large volume and you're sending from the same IP address or domain in a short period, it can spag, uh, trigger spam filters. So um, hospitals and hospices, may you may send out significant volume for several months of a year, or then nothing, or it may be continuous. Um, and it could be for various purposes, such as reminders or health information or updates or communications. And this and the, the volume, the, the sheer volume of the emails can trigger spam filters, especially if they are sent in bulk or there's a sudden increase in your email activity. Um, it doesn't also depend on you as well, what you do, but the recipient's engagement. So if the recipient frequently marks emails from a particular sender as spam and they don't engage, they don't open up or they don't click, um, it can impact um, your reputation and uh, your future de deliverability as well. Now, <clears throat> we did have a look at um, some examples of editing your campaigns, but poorly formatted emails including excessive use of images, especially in Gmail or attachments, can trigger those spam filters. And um, so you really have to be careful there. <clears throat> now, spoofing, phishing. Now, um, I'm just going to talk about the NHS because it is a prominent organization and it may be targeted by um, by these type of attempts and cyber criminals may impersonate NHS email addresses to send out uh, malicious emails, which can cause legitimate emails from those domains to be treated with suspicion by Spamfield. And the last one down at the bottom is our technical issues. So sometimes it's just out of your control and technical issues with email servers or misconfigurations, uh, or you've had a new firewall that's recently been installed can inadvertently trigger spam filters and cause legitimate emails to be marked as spam as well. So to mitigate these issues, you can take steps, and I'm sure that you all do, to take steps to improve your email deliverability. And you choose a platform, such as .digital, um, that has the correct and appropriate authentication. And .digital does have an ISO 2 7001 Certificate Information Security Management System. Don't know quite what that means, but I do know that it does identify and manage risks to the confidentiality and the integrity and the availability of the information as well. So another way to avoid the sending of mass emails um, in a bulk send is to use send time optimization. And this is a really nice tool so Dot Digital analyze the historical data for each contact individually, and they analyze over a, a sort of a rolling period of the previous 90 days before uh, you hit that send button. So for regular or semi-regular senders, um, this generally gives you um, several historical engagements, and then the 24-hour optimized period begins when you send when you press that send button. So let's just move on now. James, I'm just checking, no questions so far? No, all good so far. Okay, cool. So let's move over now to our complex healthcare landscapes. And this is really challenging. Because um, obviously you've got various stakeholders, regulations, medical terminology, communicating with sensitive and important information. 
it's a likely you're likely communicating to families, supporters, staff, volunteers, patients through different digital channels. And yeah, we've got lots to think about. And uh, hospices and and hospice, uh, hospitals should really focus on simplifying complex um, concepts using plain language and levering, leveraging your multimedia content as well. I've just realized that I've just got to plug in. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> It was just flagging up that I didn't actually have my laptop plugged in. So um, obviously compliance and adhering to the regulations are paramount. And um, this um, includes starting with obtaining proper consent for sending emails and securely handling patient information and respecting unsubscribe request as well. So it's really easy to create a sign up form in dot digital and for your newsletter or for your special events and you can just create the code on the left hand side you can use lots of different data fields marketing preferences um, lists and, and then it gives you the code which you will paste and customize and just pop it on your website or wherever you want it on so triggered emails as well are a really important part of patient engagement and support and email marketing can be used to enhance um, patient engagement throughout the healthcare journey. So this would involve sending all sorts of emails. And you've got your reminders, your post-visit surveys for feedback, your auto replies, and the list can go on and on. So this just this um, gives you an idea of what Dot Digital offers with regards to your triggered campaign and your automation tools. Now there just let me move over actually yeah so now let's move over to our automation now marketing automation uh, can really help you to respond to your audience's actions uh, and behaviors in a timely and personalized manner it really helps with um saving time on just just man manpower manpower and resources especially when you you just want to set up those automations for repetitive tasks and dot digital offer a specialized it's really good actually it's top-notch um program builder whereby you can drag over your email campaigns your time delays your decisions and other nodes and you can build those expert journeys that you can just leave running in the back end and easily edit any campaigns that are being used um, while the program is active. So these are especially good for your fundraising um, activities, your welcome journeys and other things that you really want to maybe think about sending out a series of emails. It could be even getting people on board and sending out those emails to your volunteers, the first time volunteers that you've got with you. So here's just some examples here um, of automated journeys and also those that are providing valuable educational content, um, keeping staff up to date, volunteers, um, patients are up to date and um, of organizations that are, are using dot digital and how they use dot digital and some of the designs there for you to have a look at. So let's just move over now on to targeted messaging. And it's really crucial because given your diverse audience within healthcare, it's really important to segment your data list and to tailor your messaging accordingly. And personalizing your emails based on data fields and segments can greatly improve your engagement and your relevance. And with Doc Digital, you can segment very, very easily you can filter through based on behavior, address books, um, data fields, and you can send out your campaigns using a segment. And you can also personalize your subject titles and you can personalize your content as well. It also has um, a dynamic content tool which I find to be a lifesaver when you wish to tailor your email campaign 
So different groups of contacts receive different content or offers or images or, or calls to action even. And you can just send out one campaign with multiple targeted messages for different groups of customers. So you can use dynamic content in .digital um, within the content of your email and also in your subject titles as well. Now, with an aim to be more targeted, you can see down at the bottom, there's a geo mapping feature, which is amazing. That gives you a visual overview of where your contacts are opening your emails, or it could be based on postcodes as well. And that could be throughout the world or just in your local area. And you can also view hotspots and select the map. And with a click of a mouse, you can add um, the selected contacts to a new list which is what lots of clients do when they're just targeting uh, with special events that they're going on and they just want to um, <clears throat> just use that list just to send out to those people. You can actually just target down to um, a mile away. So it's a really nice feature. So building trust and credibility, it can be tricky. Um, because you must establish yourselves as reliable sources of accurate and trustworthy and a trustworthy organization as well. So especially when you're asking for donations and legacies and uh, just general supporter requests. So here I've sort of written down, it's really crucial to focus on your storytelling, your focus on real people. You need to provide valuable and evidence-based information um, branded email campaigns obviously goes without saying and focusing on patient testimonials. So trust can be achieved uh, and it should be achieved by first of all um, showing that you are transparent and the frequency of your emails and the, the just to be relevant really um, they have to be in line with what your audience and your email recipients are expecting. So you can give the option to unsubscribe from a certain list or unsubscribe from all. And uh, Dot Digital gives you a great marketing preference center whereby you can provide these options um, if you wish. So here are some just examples of campaigns that provide valuable evidence-based information, engaging with patients, uh, showing real life testimonials, um, plus, um, just write down on the on the right hand side a video, and uh, don't forget to use your videos in your campaigns because viewers retain nine to five percent of a message when they watch it on a video compared to ten percent when they read it in text. So that's a really high percentage. So use your own assets, your own images, your own personal stories as much as possible. Social media. Now, social media and email marketing do and can and should complement each other. And they, they can really do it effectively um, for healthcare organizations in lots of ways, such as you can have a more extended reach, you can have increased visibility, you can have more content distribution and um, promotion of events and campaigns, real-time updates, and community building as well. So on the left-hand side, you can see that Dot Digital offer you social link icons and also social sharing. So just click of a button and your email recipients can share um, your campaigns on their social networks, plus Facebook signups. And it does have a unparalleled cross-marketing reach. Um, so you can use um, different social media functions. And I would suggest if you do want to find out more about what Dot Digital offer, um, just reach out to me and I can go into it in more detail. So measuring the return on investment and your impact is really, really, really important. Um, we know that our email marketing efforts can be very challenging and the only way to see whether they are working or not, whether you're really engaging and you're getting your message out there is to deep dive into the analytics and the reviewing um, of the metric tools. 
And here you can see that dot digital offer an attractive um, email marketing uh, dashboard, which tells the collective story on the left hand side of your campaigns by adding together all the statistics. And on the email dashboard, they're aggregated up until the previous day. So you can filter through by tags or date range or compare different metrics as well. Or you can deep dive on the right hand side into different reports, which tells a the history really um, of a particular campaign that's been sent out. And you can have a look at all sorts of metrics um, from your social metrics, from your replies to your hard bounces, to your unsubscribes, to your hot prospects, um, the ones that are clicking all the time, where they're clicking, and all these statistics in the email reports are in real time. Um, so you can filter through and by contacts or split test variations or by your dynamic content variations as well. You also do have the option to use um, the program reports, which um, can help you keep track of your automated programs as well and understand how your program, your automated programs are performing. So <clears throat> now in the last slide, um, we we're talking about connecting up to other platforms. So it is a bit of a nightmare if you've got limited resources or maybe you've got old um, platforms that you've inherited. And no doubt you will all have different platforms and you may or you may not wish to connect those up. It could be a donor platform or it could be a CRM. Now, the good news is that Dot .digital is an open source platform. So on the right hand side, you've got the developer hub there, and that gives you the ability to connect up to anything at your end. And that's with um, obviously knowledge that, that you've got or just a bit of technical whereabouts. So you can direct yourself on how to do it, or you may use another agency or use a third party. Um, but the developer hub is a brilliant place to go. And if you wanted to explore that further, um, and it gives you all the details of the API connections that you need. And other platforms do offer connections with Dot Digital for a small monthly fee. And it's a simple plugin such as Beacon. And Dot Digital on the left hand side, you can see that they've got a list of integrations there as well in their connection hub. And they have also created their own customized plugins for certain platforms. Um, such as Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics. And if you are interested in finding out more um, about any integrations, um, then email me as well. So here are some useful resources. Um, the first one is just it's a link for our Charity Digital Mail. Now it's called Charity Digital Mail because um, that's a name it's been for the last 15 years. And uh, it used to be called TT Mail before, and we resell um, the dot digital um, product on to charities. And also, you've got the dot digital resources link there, and you have the dot digital developer hub link as well, which I've just been talking. Now, do we have any questions? Nothing in the chat so far, but feel free to either paste it in the chat or unmute yourself and ask any questions. Nothing in the chat so far. OK. So far. Okie dokie. I don't know whether that's a good sign or a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we don't have any questions, then we can maybe take some time we have as one? well. Yeah. So Stephen has said, in terms of pricing structure, is it credit-based or monthly payments? Yeah, that's a really good question. Thank you, Stephen. It's actually um, a annual-based allowance for email credits. We did have um, monthly um, levels whereby you were sort of tied into a monthly band and, um, and then you were charged excess on top of that. <clears throat> so you don't have any limits with us and you've got the flexibility of you just buy up a, an annual um, allowance and you send as and when you wish. 
So if you are running out of credits, we will flag that up with you and you can send, um, you can buy up more, you can just top up more email credits. Mm -hmm. Or if you find that you've got unused credits, then we'll just roll them over uh, into your next renewal. There's no, we don't charge for a license fee and we don't charge either for um, uploading or storing your contacts. So you can have as many contacts as you want. You just buy your email credits. We do have support packages if you wish. So we've got three different ones. We've got a freebie one, um, we've got a light one, and we've got a pro one. And in the link um, here, you can find out more information about those just there. But yeah, great question. It's always good about pricing, isn't it? If you wanted, to, Stephen, if you wanted to find out more about that, just send me an email of approximately how many email um, emails you'll be sending out to individual contacts, and I will come back to you with um, our costings. Does anybody have any more questions on how Dot Digital can help you? No. Thanks so far. Okie dokie. Yeah. Assume all good. Okay. Okay, brilliant. Well, I'm just going to move over then and say thank you much for joining. And uh, just a reminder that we've got a fabulous um, workshops coming up. And there's more information on our website about those. And that's on the 21st of March. And if you do have any further questions, if you finish here and you think, oh, it's just been too much of a short whistle stop tour of Dot Digital, I really would like to find out more, then we can uh, do a more in-depth walkthrough of the features. And that will be on uh, an individual basis. So that's one-to-one, -one. but please do reach out to me. Great. Okay, thank fantastic. You, well, thank you very much for joining and uh, you can have some lunch now and we'll leave it like that. See you all soon. Thank you. Thank you, bye.